In this Figma tutorial, let's take a look at how to fill an object with an image. So you can have a frame, pressing the F key, we get the frame tool, we could click and drag to create a frame. You could also make something like a vector shape or a rectangle or use the pen tool to create a shape. And so we could create a rectangle out here as well, slightly different color here to notice the difference. Also frame has an actual label on it. If we select our frame, we can fill this with an image because in our fill property over here in the design tab, we actually have color first and we can add fill or even change this specific fill. So if I have one added already, I could swap it to any sort of different fill just by clicking on the thumbnail. And then we have a few icons here at the top, one of which looks like an image and it allows us to select an image to fill into this frame. So once we've done that, we can come down here to the checkerboard pattern and choose our image. I've got one selected here of some clouds. We can open it up and you can see how it fills our frame with an image. And we have a few different selections or options here on how it fills the frame. We could fit it to the frame, which means that the frame might actually be a different size than the image itself. And the image will just fit whether it hits the top and bottom or sides. We can fill it like we had a second ago, where it will zoom into the image until it fills the whole frame. We can also crop it, so you can crop this image by resizing the frame itself. You can move the image around underneath it. You can even scale the image up and down underneath it. Make sure you hold shift so you don't accidentally skew it. You can also hold option to scale it down from the center. Cropping is nice, I use this one a lot. And the last one is actually tile. So it will tile the image across at full 100% scale. Now you'll probably find yourself using fill or crop the most. Crop allows you to really move the image around, but fill is pretty simple to use and it scales with the frame itself. So as you scale this frame and skew it and stretch it, the image will actually move with it. Now that was for a frame, Rectangles or any other shapes or objects actually work the same, any kind of vector. You can change that fill to be an image and just select your image in the same exact way. And so that's how you can fill different shapes and other elements with images here in Figma.